Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias Antioch and Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Wednesday, August 26th, 2020, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 6, verses 9 through 12. Brethren, we feel sure of better things that belong to salvation. For God is not so unjust as to overlook your work and the love which you showed for his sake in serving the saints as you still do. And we desire each one of you to show the same earnestness in realizing the full assurance of hope until the end, so that you may not be sluggish but be imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. And today's Gospel reading is from the Gospel of St. Mark chapter 1, verses 23 through 28. At that time, there was in the synagogue of the Jews a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet, and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him and crying out with a loud voice, came out from him. And they were amazed, so that they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this, a new teaching? With authority he commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And at once his, fa- his, spread, his fame spread everywhere throughout all the surrounding region of Galilee. In today's epistle, we have encouragement for us to remain steadfast in our faith and in serving in the things that we do. It is very easy in the face of despondence, of, of adversity, to become despondent. It is very easy when things don't go our way that we begin to question and begin to wonder, is there a better way to do something or should we stop doing what we're doing? Maybe we are backing the wrong, I don't know. I mean, there's all sorts of things that could come. I was going to say backing the wrong horse, but that's not quite what I mean. So when we think about what he's saying there, St. Paul, in writing what he does in the epistle to the Hebrews, the Hebrews is a great theological text. And throughout it all, it speaks of our God as the one and only sacrifice. It speaks of the cloud of witnesses. It speaks of um, all the things that really, I mean, it's such a great theological document. But what we have here is we have an exhortation for us to remain steadfast because God will not overlook the work and the love which was shown for his sake in serving the saints. And we have the full assurance that of hope until the end, so that through faith and, practice and patience, everyone can inherit the promises which are to come. So that is what we hold on to. It is an exhortation to remain in our faith, and remain in our hope that God will deliver as he has promised, no matter what we may face, no matter what kind of adversity may come our way. And sometimes it's just really hard to see. A lot of times when I have people come to confession, I make the recommendation that we go and we stand next to a wall. And I say, okay, can you see outside? Because the wall is high and the wall is thick. And they say no. And so then we physically relocate ourselves. We move to a window and we look outside and we can see everything. A lot of times that's exactly what's going on. The sun is always shining. God is always present. But sometimes we have built walls that are so high and barriers that are so thick that it's impossible for us to be able to see God's presence without us shifting our perspective. And that's what we need to do. And that's the encouragement that St. Paul is giving to the Hebrews in this epistle. To remain steadfast no matter what temptations or no matter what obstacles get in the way. Because the promises are eternal promises. They are unchangeable. Jesus, as it says in the Hebrews, is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And so we need ourselves to shift our perspective because our perspective is the one that is temporal and finite and subject to change. We are creatures of positive reinforcement. We need to become creatures of faith, knowing that in Christ we have hope of salvation because we believe what the saints have told us before. 
And so we hold on to that belief and we grab on to that faith and we do everything in our power to remain steadfast, believing in the promises that have been given to us by Christ, by his saints, and by all the faithful ones who have gone throughout all the ages. Amen. So may God bless you and your family always, today and forever. I pray that you will have a great day, and God willing, we will see you again tomorrow.